we that we are coming from here, you know how it is to to wear that shirt. And these foreign based players, some of them they can't even speak our local language. So we go to the camp, it's not like our time that after lunch or after dinner, we sit and we try to interact, we try to mock each other, we do our prayers and all that. But today to go to the camp because they don't know the culture. So they find it difficult to adapt. But it's not it's not it's not a matter of uh, uh, respect or they don't respect the coaches. I haven't, I haven't seen uh, such a thing. Okay, so our time Steven Apia, former Ghana Black Stars captain, Ababe Kasa, Edia Fa, the Black Stars team, who sent a Nyema SA, a team named Corruption and Co, ACC, a team named, and how the team should get better with time. Adolfo, a brand new way, a could PM, a was some conference, and I just said, or then I drink by answering questions, I just said, in your SMK to Accra. So basically, in any name, Ghana Black Stars under HSS TV. Even appear as captain was one of the best national teams in the world. Just a almost ball ball uh, from their heart. Talking about Sule Junior, Gogo, uh, you know, Asamoa Chan, any a whole lot of Black Stars players. Now, so the current club and Crawford PhD said they are being selfish, almost chasing Sika, on patriotic, almost ball ball in film. Akuma, just a few of them, and I just almost ball ball legitimately uh, from their heart. I don't know, uh, Stephen appear and say a few questions. Or say sometimes we should use uh, the local players to play some games. Or say they are here, they are uh, very familiar with the pitches I uh, war. Uh, um, um, local casano in terms of me abobo a community yeah, as compared to uh, just um, I warm with Europe, I warm with America, not just a confirm some bebo uh, black stars or sign so a casa edifa payment of you know the lesser teams and uh, national teams i mean talking about under 17 and you know under 20 and cool the fact said corruption and uh, and why there is corruption there and uh, the solution now one fancy or a kasaya pie chill musa during their time there were competition because players are now on that bench you know they some of them were local players now they were hungry uh, to play for the black stars and you know so who lose it gather your position will be snatched he actually gave vivid examples to back and he claimed i don't know mama in kotiye and the okay now vimba tv so and now Yes, I think at times some things happen, but I won't blame the players. I would I will, I will rather blame the coaches because at the end of the day, you are the boss. So you can decide not to play Ronaldo, he can say anything. He will get upset, but at the end of the day, if the coach decides, I'm not playing you, I'm not playing you, you can't do anything. So when players are, you think that players think that they are beyond you, the coach. You have to take certain, certain drastic decisions. Yes, I was then a player, today I'm a coach, so it's two different things. So I'm not a player anymore that you can compare yourself that you are better than me. I'm a coach. So you have to respect my decisions. Those things happen, but I would say that the, co the coaches should be more brave and take uh, certain decisions. Um, yeah, I mean, sad things happen okay, if people try to put their the under certain and I think we have to take this very, very serious. You have coaches who go to Bantam for six months, four months, and they don't take any salary, only other ones. You have coaches for the Black Stars who are earning so much. Under 70 coaches, they don't take anything. Under 20 coaches, they don't take anything. Under 23. So if I'm a coach, and these things, are, these things are not happening to me, and an agent comes, and he wanted me to take his player, player and give him some money, I'll take it. So I think that we have to try and, we have to try and solve that problems to make the coaches feel okay. I'm not saying that the under 17 coaches will feel better than the senior national team coaches. But in a way, we have to let them feel okay and we have to let them feel that they are working and they have to make something out of it. So I think your question, 
because some of them find themselves that they are not getting anything. So when people influence them with envious AKA. I think it's not only the captain, it's not only the captain. But players who come to the national team, they have to, they have to be committed. I'm not saying that. They have to be committed because you have 30 something million population. They are selected 23 and you are part of it. It's an honor. And you have to know that you are representing Ghana. So whatever you have to do to make it work, you have to. For the past five years we are struggling. We are not seeing things like that. So I think it's not only the captain. You can be a captain and you can, you can be a good captain, but that doesn't mean that you can win matches. But when you have your colleagues that that they are hailing the same goal, I think that that's where you can make it. Because my time I was so lucky that I have players that they are aiming for the same goal. We have to qualify for the World Cup. We have to do better. And I think that luckily it happens. So it's not only you. It's about the people you are working with. If they have the same goal as you, it works. Yes, I think we, we have to give the local players, we have to give them the chance, the confidence um, to play for the national team. So in our time, maybe there are certain players that looks like, looks as if they are key players in the team. We were not key players. We have players like William Ferro and the rest who were pushing us. So we, we have to make sure that we are not going to allow them to take our positions. For example, when we went to the World Cup 2006, Jose Kufo was a top, 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 top defender. Mm -hmm. After the game against Germany, after the game, the game against uh, Italy, the second game against Czech Republic, it was Sheila Alias who was playing for Porto. He came in and he stamped the position. Brilliant player. You have Adi Mohamed who took uh, Adokwe Pako position, play number three. Fantastic. So in our time there, there was a competition. Today there was no competition, so some of the, the players they feel so cool that whether they, they, they play well or not, they will play. Mm. But in our time, it wasn't, it wasn't like that. There was a competition. When we played, when we played our second qualifier against South Africa in Kumasi, we lost our first game. We beat South Africa 3-0. I scored two goals, but I wasn't the man of the man. It was William Stero who was playing for, for Liberty Professional. So this is the difference. Today we don't have such things anymore. We have our players now running to go to Tanzania. It's a shame. Mm -hmm. They should rather come here. We have our players now going to Sudan. When we played against Niger, the number seven who was the best player on the pitch, who played for Niger, is a Ghanaian. We have a striker who won the goal king in Ghana Premier League because he didn't get a chance now he's playing for Togo so we have to we have to give our boys we have to give them the chance and because today our league is not attractive that's why they are running and going to other other countries why because some of the boys are earning 300 cities mm -hmm. they are earning 500 cities and at times they have to go beyond five months they have children they have to take care of home, they have to pay their bills. So somebody will come and say, okay, I'll give you $800. They will go, that's why today, we even open a free gate, cut up against a class of home, empty stadium. So we have to try and look at those things. So basically, do you agree with Tonado? Ah, uh, yes, Steven, appear or not? Oh, check your online and call for SA Wakase. They actually believe and are in support of what so everything uh, that he said. Why do you share on it, however? Uh, once again, Vimbas TV. So, and uh. Vimbas TV.